Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. We can now confirm the missile is targeted at Alpha Base. Evacuation procedures are being initiated at these locations. In the event of further strikes, you are to establish a safe haven for the evacuation of Beta Base. This location lies outside of the blast zone of the largest nuclear missile. Eradicate any enemy and secure the area. Mission timer activated. Per usual, spread out your units. I'm going to take a step I alluded to a couple videos ago and move my northern VTOLs south and recycle the rearm pads while waiting for the landing zone to separate itself. I don't want to use too much time though, we want a lot at the away part. You'll notice the defense of the southeast corner. If you don't feel like microing VTOL experience gain next stage, that defense, with a single fast bob backing it up, can hold out just fine. The team I'll send up will be four heavy bobs, three assault guns, two mosquitoes, and an anvil in a pear tree. Construction completed. The first structure to set up is a repair bay, after which I'll call in an MBG reinforcement load. We'll need the commander and some TKs right about the time they land. Move your assault guns to the southwest road, your AA tanks just up left of the repair bay, and the lone anvil northeast of the bay to prepare for the initial assault. Construction completed. When the repair bay is done, get up a couple whirlwind pits, a sensor, a CB, and a lancer bunker in that order. You can see my placements in the video. Your two AA tanks will take up position by the AA pits once they're placed. And if you really want to micro min max them, place them just south of the AA pits in range of the repair bay and on hold position. From the west will be a fair few cyborgs, but with three well trained assault guns to meet them, they won't pose much threat. If you don't wipe them out completely the first time, they'll run, but return later having not repaired at all. Dang it! Unit under attack. Construction completed. LZ clear. Unit. There is only a single land connection to the northern two thirds of this map, and it's just north of the LZ. Once the Project Warriors have the collective rogues handled, you no longer have any land-based threat from this direction. The enemy do have hovers, but they seem to have little interest in approaching from this side. You can throw up a structure just down left of the sensor if you want some security. I'll start some MLRS batteries, get my tanks to the top right area to contest the incoming force, and then talk about map strategy. In Beta 5, we got access to two new strategic options, VTOLs and Long Range Artillery. Since then, I've been exclusively using the Artillery option, and this map won't be any different. One McShooter team in the third transport load and a half dozen or so Ripple rocket emplacements will give the MBG all the support it needs. However, I will say this. Though I don't tend to break out the VTOLs until the next campaign, this map can be handled via VTOLs fairly well if you'd like to get some use out of or practice with them. Our side of the river, once cleared, makes for a very ample, very open area to set up a number of rearming pads that are more or less safe from counterattacks, and the Collective are just now getting into the whole SAM thing. So if you want a test bed to figure out just how damaging surface-to-air missiles are to aircraft, I recommend this stage. And then, after you're done experimenting, restart the stage and use the artillery anyway. While VTOLs do clear the stage fairly well, as I mentioned at the start, this stage is one we want a lot of time for, specifically for post-stage research and rebuilding, and I find the only way to beat this stage with VTOLs in fast order is to use a ton of them, which is problematic come next stage, though I'll save the semi-spoiler reason for when it happens. LZ compromised. Construction completed. 
Construction completed. Enemy kill detected. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. LP compromised. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. LC clear. Reinforcements landing. Assigned to Commander. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Sensors on the north bank will allow your artillery the ability to start softening up the central base, but this map has a lot of hills and valleys. Rather than putting the towers flush against the river, place them a square or two back so that they have high elevation. Unit under attack. LP compromised. LP clear. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. LZ clear. Unit under attack. Construction completed. LZ compromised. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. LZ clear. Structure under Okay, so we get rid of the enemy artillery tanks first, then put up the north back sensor. Would that make you happy, Mr. Unmanned Drone? Structure under attack. Construction completed. One reporting. Construction completed. Structure under attack. LZ compromised. Compromised. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. LP compromised. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. LZ clear.
Reinforcements landing. As small as this stage is, we can have the Howitzer team just park itself at the south center of the map. They'll be able to cover all of the relevant parts of the map from there, more or less safe from our side of the river. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Bring in any other forces you have that aren't airborne or fast bobs. We're going to be doing some modifications later on, may as well get them here now. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Assigned to Commander. Group 1 reporting. Reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 2 reporting. One reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Reporting. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Reinforcement landing. I'm just going to go ahead and call the Northeast base a pushover. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments. That's what I'm supposed to do as a YouTuber, right? Tell people to like, subscribe, and comment a lot? Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Construction completed. Assigned to commander. Group one reporting. Enemy base eradicated.
Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Figure I'll get one more use out of this UAV design. Unit under attack. Also, I'll be bringing the rest of them into this stage, though only to recycle them. I won't need them for recon next stage, and I won't have them after that, so it's either 19 more suicide flights, or I recycle their unmanned control modules for later. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. Group one reporting. Major research completed. Reporting. Construction completed. Reporting. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Group three reporting. Reinforcements landing.
a flyby just so you all can see what's left out here. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Or what was left anyway, and then I'll cut to the tech display. We only got two major techs, but they are major techs. Vehicle research completed. The Tiger Heavy Body, which also gave us the Mark II and Mark III of some passive upgrades. Much hardier, but also much slower than the Python. However, given what our MBG is designed for, winning pitched exchanges with opponents who are firing back at us, the armor difference proves more than enough to justify the change. Weapon research completed. The Ground Shaker. Structure research completed and its emplacement. I'm not going to break out the party favor sound effect so soon after the last time I used it, but this is a major change to our artillery. Let's review just about every heavy body design I have for upgrade. Well, first I need to redo the UAV design. Since the MG has been obsoleted, I'll make up a new one. How about a Leopard Assault Gun? Just check to make sure its speed is maxed out here. I'll show both the speed and armor screens for each vehicle I change so that you can see the differences for yourselves. Spoiler alert, everything but the Fast Bob and McSpottoms will slow down noticeably from a numerical standpoint. However, we also just researched faster engines this stage so their speed after rebuild, versus their speed from most of the game to this point, isn't that different. Man, that's a slow plane. I'm actually not going to alter the Pringles. Add the Mark II to the AA tank and the... Actually, let's leave the Arnold at Mark I since it never really saw action yet. I realize it may be the least useful unit in our MBG right now, but man if the tiger-bodied anvil doesn't look like a German design from the 1940s. I mean, other than the anime paint scheme. And lastly, the McShooter. It's getting two adjustments, so before the Tiger. After the Tiger. And the change to its weapon. Up to this point, you may have been watching the videos and wondering why I don't use the MLRS as my artillery squad. While the howitzer may have a better blast effect, the ripple rocket's ability to eliminate single targets efficiently and at much longer ranges almost made it seem directly superior, as any time the 10-pack of howitzers fired at a group of, say, four targets and hoped to kill them all from blast damage, the MLRS could have individually killed all four with shots left over. I stuck with the howitzer for two reasons. 
One is, I like to use both of them, but given the MLRS's range, I prefer to add them as emplacements at the far edges of the map, where the howitzer had to move to stay relevant. The other is, I knew I would eventually be upgrading to this weapon. Comparatively, the DPS change over the howitzer is only about 4%, but the damage per shot is, at least right now, second only to the tank killer. Obviously there's more to it than that, the TK fires in pairs and the MLRS launches 8 rocket volleys, but the bigger the hit, the more it marginalizes enemy armor, and enemy armor is going to become a big issue in just two stages. The ground shaker has the biggest blast radius of any weapon in the game, at least any player campaign controlled one, and the ground shaker also is only just shorter in range than the ripple rocket is, 78 versus 86. From this point forward, well other than the beta epilogue stage, while the MLRS will still hold a narrow edge in usefulness when dealing with single defensive structures, whether direct fire or counter battery, a pack of 10 ground shakers will be more useful than a group of 10 MLRS as an overall mobile team in the majority of situations we will be faced with, cyborg packs, vehicle packs, and groups of enemy towers or artillery batteries. At least in my opinion. Again, post disagreements in the comments. Or agreements. Or stir-fry recipes. Please, anything. I don't want the only comments to this video series that I reply to to be the ones asking why I got episodes beta 5 and 6 out of order. Research completed. Group 1 reporting. Anyway, a long rebuild period is ahead. I've recycled all of the land units, save one truck that kept in stage to prevent a game over and rebuilt them as their tiger-bodied equivalents, with one exception. The two Pringles cans I've switched to assault gun tanks. I'll go over why I made this change during some of the downtime next video, but I do recommend doing the same in your own game. Also, I'm only bringing in 10 units to the stage before I end it, as I really landing. want these 10 units to be on the launch pad when the next stage starts. These units are 3 heavy bobs, 5 assault guns, and 2 tank killers. Not only do I want these 10 units on the LZ next stage, I don't want any other units anywhere near the LZ at the stage's start, so here they, and only they, are. And then having arrived, I will throw up a sensor so my MLRS emplacements can see what's left of the collective and finish off the... Uh... Wait a minute. Okay, let me recycle this lone heavy bob mark 1 and bring up one of the new bobs to finish building this sensor so my MLRS emplacements can see what's left of the collective and finish off the stage. Eventually. Come on, man, don't make me regret not bringing in a hover. There we go. Construction completed. Really? Oh, 
Okay, that's one. How about a pepper pot pit? Will you fire for a pepper pot pit? Construction completed. Enemy bay. Objective accomplished.